Hello, everybody. It's Steve, and wait, an unboxing video. This isn't gameplay, and you're right. This is actually part of an Eagle Moss order that I made back when they were taken over by Master Replicas. I ordered up some starships from them as part of their big Star Trek collection. I'm going to be opening up in this video, but you can see this box went through the ringer. This was shipped over from England. It was held up at customs at JFK for an undetermined amount of time, and then finally arrived at my doorstep earlier today, which is going to be April 4th when I'm recording this video. A little bit of background about Eagle Moss as I'm getting this box uncut and going here. Eagle Moss sold, and I say sold, and there's going to be a lot of past tense here, in a lot of ship models, uh, mainly Star Trek. They were expanding out into the Expanse and Stargate before the company went belly up last fall. And a couple of companies, including Real Merch and Master Replicas, have been taking over their inventory and selling some of the stuff. This is actually three ships from the first load of the first release of ships. The next one actually coming out on Friday the 7th? Yeah, Friday, April 7th, was going to be another release of ships. And I'll have a link to Master Replicas in the description for this video and also for Real Merch who's still some, selling some of these models. My concern, though, is back here, of course, where the box was damaged pretty heavily. You can actually see there's a tear in the box, and we're going to pop this guy open and see how much of my product was damaged in shipping because some of these things, um, they, they may not be replaceable because they're kind of burning through the leftover inventory that Eagle Moss had when they went belly up. So we have a little bit of padding here, not a lot. This isn't looking good. And get that out of the way. So we got the USS Titan, which was from Lower Decks. This one appeared in the Season 1 finale, a little bit in Season 2. So we got that one here that's looking pretty good. A little box cutter used for that. We got the USS Prometheus. This is the XL version, measures about 8 inches long. This was featured mainly in the Voyager episode Message in a Bottle. There some of the Prometheus classes have showed up over the years. The box is looking okay. And then we've also got the Enterprise E. That's the bottom of the box. And this one is featured in the films uh, First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis. Might be showing up in Picard Season 3. Uh, the last episodes haven't come out yet when I'm recording this one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop. The boxes all look to be in okay shape, which is good. So I'm actually going to open these guys individually and uh, see how these look. I'll be back in a moment. And I'm going to start off by opening up the Enterprise E, because I think this is the one that everybody recognizes more than the other two ships that I picked up here. Took off the little plastic on all three of them. I'm, I'm worried that these things are damaged. So let's see. Got a real nice box there. It's the official Star Trek ships collection. Again, Eagle Moss, unfortunately, no longer in business, but... There are companies that are trying to keep them going. You can even search for these on Amazon, and they're not cheap on Amazon. The Titan and the Prometheus, I don't think you can even find on Amazon. Ooh, okay, it's in one piece. So here we go. We've got the little base stand over here. And yes, I do have a, a pink band on my watch uh, right now. My, um, I destroyed the other one, and so I'm waiting for another one to arrive. So we got a little bracket here. Okay, deep breath. Don't break the ship. All right, there you go. So yeah, measures about eight inches in length. Looks to be in really good shape. And the design detailing on this, I'm very impressed with them. Yeah, this one's in really good shape. I'm I'm liking this. Got a lot of foam padding in there. This one's gonna go in the collection next to the other ships that I've got. And I'll, I'll, then in the video, I'll show you all the ships that I do have on this one. But this one is looking really good. I'm very happy about that one because this one, this was on my list. Not This was actually like the lowest, air quotes, priority for me to get because I did want to get like the non-hero ships whenever possible. Yeah, let's go ahead and just grab the Titan because that one's on top right now. Again, this one has only showed up in lower decks. And so you see also here you've got the, looks like the Vancouver which was unreleased when Eagle Moss went into administration, which is the UK's version of bankruptcy protection. Then you have the hero ship, the Cerritos. When the first batch of ships went on sale back at the end of March, beginning of April, they only had three USS Cerritos, and I think they had maybe a dozen Titans. And I was lucky enough to get one of the three USS Titans from here. All right. This one's looking okay. Not foam like the other one, but this one's got some good styrofoam in it. This is the 
little magazine for the USS Titan, launched in 2379, which would have been the events of Nemesis in the Star Trek universe. And the Titan A, its successor, is the hero ship on Season 3 of Picard. Okay, this one got rock this one got jostled a little bit, but it's looking okay. So you got a standard base stand up here with a bracket which will hook into the back of the ship and sit really nicely. Very, very careful, Steve. Don't break this one. This one's extremely rare. It looks good. There's the ventral side of it, and you got a couple of uh styrofoam peanuts that are sticking for the ride. And this is the predecessor of the one that is showcased in season three of Picard. Okay, this was the one I was the most worried about because it's so hard to get your hands on because it went into administration right when they were coming out. Woohoo! Yay, that one's in one piece. And I can't sell this, I can't set this thing in because I'm an idiot. All right, I'm gonna set that one. I'm not gonna close it up just because it looks like the, I didn't put the bracket in 100% correctly. Now the Prometheus, this one, a lot of fans are divided on this one. This ship is, a lot of folks like it. I like the angular design of it. You can see up here, there's an extra warp nacelle in the episode Message in a Bottle. And I see if I, I can maybe like overlay a picture of the Prometheus in action during it. The Prometheus could do what's called multi-vector assault mode. Big fancy term for it can split into three ships and can be commanded by the top section. So when the ship did appear, it was during Voyager's fourth season, sixth season of DS9, and the EMH on this ship, which was played by Andy Dick of all people, mentioned that the Romulans who had captured the ship were not involved in the war with the Dominion. It gives you an idea of where in the universe it takes place. Another rare one, this one is uh, hard to get its hands on, multi-vector assault vessel being mentioned here on the magazine cover as well. Fingers crossed, everybody. Brrr. All right, this one's looking like it's in one piece also. Thank you. This has been a very, like, ever since that thing landed on my doorstep, I'm like, oh my God, did they break my toy? Did they break? I'll call them, they're toys. These things are great little models. They're very expensive, unfortunately, nowadays. I think I spent for all three of these box, all three of these ships was just over 200 US dollars. Let me get under there real nice and gentle. So you can see there's that extra nacelle on top. It does not break away into three ships like in the episode. Being very, very gentle here. So you can see the ventral side of it. Not a lot of a, not a lot of detail on the ventral side. I don't think we actually saw a lot on the underside of the ship. But it does have the four nacelles that you can see in that fifth one up top. There's actually, when it splits up, there's another one underneath this. It's actually hidden under uh, that part of the ship for when it does that multi vector assault mode thing. Okay, so. I actually got three ships. They're all in good condition. I'm very, very happy about that. And I will kind of do a little cut here, get them all situated in the office next to the other ships in my collection and kind of see what I've got here. And hopefully, if this video does well, I'll be showcasing more of these little unboxings as I try to collect more ships from this collection. And here they are with the rest of the collection. The Prometheus, though, may not stay out. The reason being is that it's not sitting very well in its brackets. Uh, I've got it pushed back and it's still kind of doing this jockeying, leaning forward thing. I'm have to look into seeing if that's uh, something that can be fixed or if he's just gonna stay in the box for a while. But we got the Titan on its little stand there. Prometheus, the Enterprise E. Next up, we've got two Excelsior class ships. I've got Zulu's Excelsior and then the Enterprise B, which was in the hmm, pretty much first 15, 20 minutes of Star Trek Generations. And we have the outlier, big time outlier, the Daedalus from Stargate. This one is very, very hard to find. Apparently, when the Stargate ship started coming out, they only did three before Eagle Moss went into administration. This one is actually sold out, as far as I know, on eBay. This one sells for several hundred bucks. Next to it, we have the Equinox from the Voyager 2 parter of the same name. And next to that, we have the USS Thunderchild and Akira class which was probably featured mainly in First Contact. Should have been some of the Dominion War stuff in DS9. Then we have the Enterprise D from All Good Things. That's one reason the XL Enterprise D is not on my radar to get. Then of course we have Deep Space Nine XL and a uh, little Lego A-Wing that I like keeping around. But this is the collection that I've got right now. And hopefully as more ships, especially from the XL collection become released, I wanna pick up more of them 
And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching this little unboxing video, and I'll see you all in the next one.